Hello everyone and welcome to another quick demonstration. Today I'm going to be showing how to use uh, the tower server or control node in the Ansible automation platform to collect information at runtime at launch from the user and then apply that to a template, a Jinja 2 template for configuration of say like a web server. And the method I'm going to be using for that, it's called a survey. Super easy to build. So first things first, this is my public Git repo. All this is going to be in the blog post as well, but I have two files in here. One is my uh, Jinja 2 template file. So you take a look at this. It is nothing very special, right? Most configuration files are just flat files with some special information in there. In this case, I've got the uh, variables in here. You can see with the uh, double mustaches. So I've got serve name. I've got option one and option two right here. So at runtime, those are going to be replaced by actual variable names. In the repository, I've also got the playbook right here. So what happens is when you launch, uh, for the most part, it's really just this one task right here that's performing all of the all of the real action, and it's using the template module. So what it does is it uh, finds the source file, which is the Jinja template we specified up there. And then it's going to, on the server specified, you know, whatever iteration we're on, it's going to install it at that location. And for uh, this uh, demonstration, I'm just going to user games uh, survey template.conf. The next two tasks actually aren't required, but uh, the first one takes the uh, file that's created so it basically looks up the file grabs all the contents throws it into a variable and then last it debugs it so it just shows the screen so it's kind of a closed loop so we can actually see the output so in the tower itself what i'll do is if i want to create a surveys first i'll go to the template section then i'll create a regular job template and i'll fill all the information out and i'll select the playbook, all that good stuff, and then I'll click the Add Survey button. So in my case, I've already created that. So if I go into my job template here, it says Edit Survey. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Edit Survey. If I wanted to add some additional entries, I would fill them out here, prompt, whatever prompt information, whatever description information, and then variable name. So this is the interesting part. Whatever variable name I put here gets injected into my play at runtime uh, as an extra variable. And then answer type, I've got all of these various uh, types to choose from. Text area, just a regular, uh, rather text is just a regular text box. Text area allows me to do multi-line, password, obfuscates the information you're putting in. Multiple choice, I like multiple choice a lot because it keeps uh, guardrails around what you're allowing people to do. So t-shirt sizes, I guess, is kind of the... Um, the nomenclature here where you can give your users some options to select from and then have it go from there. So in my case, I've already created them. Whenever you create one, it adds it over here on the right. So I can click the edit button and it pops it back over to the left and gives me options. So I have serve name, option one for the variable and option two for the variable on this one. And this one, again, multiple choice and I can even set default answers and I can say whether this is a required option or not. So a lot of flexibility. Then I'll click save. Next, I can click launch right here. Well, I mean, you're gonna to wanna to say save again after you create the survey. But then I can click launch right there or from the template section right here, survey to template demo, I can just launch it. It's gonna pop up the window and give me the opportunity to fill that out. I'm gonna say gregsoul.com, enter option one here. I'm gonna say cookies and I'm definitely going to go for uh, three. Four is too many, two is not enough. So then I'll click next. It's going to show me the extra variables that it's going to utilize and I'll say launch. It's then going to pop me over to the job section into the running job and I'll be able to see all the output right there. Complete. So if I take a look on the left side, I see the extra, vari extra variables section. It shows me everything it's actually injecting. So if I have three, there's three here. If I had 30, then all 30 would be there. Uh, job one was to use the template, so that completed. Next, it uh, saves it as a variable, the contents of that file, and then it spits it out here. So, serve name was gregsoul.com. Uh, it demonstrates entries like cookies. That was option one. And three was option two. So, quite simple to use. 
But keep in mind that just because you're collecting the survey information doesn't mean you have to use it in a template. You can use it anywhere inside of your playbooks, any inside, uh, anywhere inside of a, a workflow or anything like that, right? It's just a variable that I'm injecting, so I can do quite literally anything with it. All right, I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions or comments, let me know, and we'll see you guys next time.